A Naval Medical Center at Camp Lejeune is finding a brand new way to comfort their patients. WNCT's Bailey Martin explains how. This is Pappy Boynton. He's the Naval Medical Center's first therapy dog, and he'll be visiting patients at the hospital to help relieve stress, facilitate patient recovery, and help patients communicate with their doctors. Baby, baby, baby. The Naval Medical Center has paired up with the Red Cross to introduce a canine visitation program. It's just one of those feelings that are very comforting when you come home and you know the pet's there. You know, it's, they can, regardless of what's going on, it's, it's always nice to have that dog, you know, there to comfort you and, and they bring a smile to you your face. Trained therapy dogs will provide comfort to patients in their rooms. We screen both the, the uh, handlers and the pets to make sure that they're, you know, not a threat to the patients uh, and they're just there for their benefit. And the very first dog in the program is Pappy Boyington. It's not your really typical therapy dog where they cuddle and hold them and stuff like that. But most days he just wants to lick you and nip you a little bit. We're still working on that. Pappy's owner Sonny Tortorici rescued him from being put down and has trained him to be a surgeon. Dog. He's come a long way from, you know, a bleak future. So he's got a second chance at life. Tortorici thinks sharing Pappy's story will help patients. They uh, might relax enough to think, well, I'm going through a hard time. And if he can do it, so can I. And so far, it's working. Pappy will be making regular visits to the Naval Medical Center starting today. And the goal is to eventually have more dogs like Pappy helping patients. Aboard Camp Lejeune, Bailey Martin, nine on your side.